Group-based microfinance schemes attempt to harness the collective power of mutual support with members pooling their savings and making small loans to each other so that they can set up small businesses. Most aim to improve the, the economic power of and employment opportunities for women in their immediate community, and many aims to confront ingrained discriminatory attitudes to women. Some aim to facilitate the attendance of girls at school and change attitudes to the paid employment of women outside their homes. This is the story of a tribal boy who was not content with the life he had. He was loved by all. But he was not happy. His father saw that something troubled him. He asked his son the reason. He said to his father that he wanted to be an archer. He wanted to be the disciple of a great teacher who taught only the sons of kings. He said to his father that he knew they belonged to hunting tribe, he did not want to be a mere hunter. He approached the teacher and asked the teacher to train him to be a mighty warrior. The great teacher rejected his plea, saying that this place belongs only to king's sons. Though he was dejected, he did not lose hope. He made a statue of the great teacher and started worshipping him. He believed if he could practice before his teacher he would learn archery. In time faith, perseverance and courage transformed the boy, the mere tribal hunter to a great archer. The boy became an archer of exceptional prowess, superior even to the great teacher's best student. If we are dedicated to the work we want to achieve the results are going to be extraordinary. A total of five ozone ascents were taken at Bharati Station, Indian Mission, Antarctica during April to June, 2016. As the stratospheric temperatures reduced to minus 82.24 C on 20th of June, 2016 indicating the formation of stratospheric clouds which may lead to depletion of the ozone concentration in the stratosphere. Leading scientists at Bardi Station feared that Montreal Accord has not succeeded to control emission of ozone-depleting gases in atmosphere.
the other teams tried to collaborate on building the structure, and descended into confusion, with everyone getting in each other's way. Our team leader solved the challenge brilliantly. She simply asked everyone in the team to move a piece a few centimeters, to comply with the rule, and then let the person in the team with an aptitude for puzzles like this build it alone. Young people make up a significant portion of newcomers to Canada. In 2013, 30% of all immigrants were under the age of 25. Such newcomers face a kind of double jeopardy, being new and being young. Furthermore, they also treat immigrant and refugee youth as a group without considering how membership in a particular ethnic community affects settlement trajectories. However, little is known about the challenges faced by young immigrants when accessing social services. Anecdotally, it is understood that those from small and relatively marginalized ethnic communities do not have access to formal support within their own community and have to seek help from mainstream organizations. An important question about education is, then, why do some types of students achieve success easily and others struggle to do well? Well, one theory is that there is a genetic reason for academic achievement. What I mean by that is, a certain innate, measurable level of intelligence. Another frequently discussed theory is environmental factors, such as the effect of home and family upbringing. A final reason is related to the teaching and learning process within educational institutions, and the way it is organized, administered and assessed. That brings us to the CEO's second duty, building everyone or more accurately, building the senior team. All the executives report to the CEO, so it's the CEO's job to hire, fire, and manage the executive team. From coaching CEOs, I actually think this is the most important skill of all. Because when a CEO hires an excellent senior team, 
that team can keep the company running. When a CEO hires a poor senior team, the CEO is up spending all of their time trying to do with the team, and not nearly enough time trying to do with other elements of their job. The senior team can and often does develop the strategy for the company, but ultimately it's always the CEO who has the final go-no-go -no -go decision on strategy. The walls are made of several layers of honey-colored wood, all sourced from local beech trees. In order to improve the acoustic properties of the auditorium and to amplify the sound, they are not straight they are curved. The acoustics are also adjustable according to the size of the orchestra and the type of music being played. So between 4000 and 3000 BC, the Mesopotamian Sumerian cultures do not practice any kind of burial. And then, about 3000, in the early dynastic period, these burials start to reappear, and they reappear with a certain amount of conspicuous consumption, and this is the context for the royal burials at her. Okay, so, the royal cemetery um, consists of quite a number of pits, so these are little people, um, these are the, uh, excavation workers who are coming down into the pits. So you get some sense of how really deep and how really difficult it was to construct these chambers. George Black, a well-educated Englishman was editor of the Diggers Advocate. Through his paper, he worked to form the Diggers into a cohesive group which would resist oppressive laws. A Welshman, John Basson Humphrey, took the conservative view and believed the solution should be gained by constitutional means. The most picturesque personality among the leaders was an Italian, Raffaello Carboni, and it is to his dynamic and emotional narrative that we owe much of the detail of those bitter days. The sixth man, Timothy Hayes, was an Irishman and a rousing speaker.
In Italy, some of these cities were able to gain control of the surrounding country and to become city-states, resembling those of the ancient Greeks. Their autonomy was assisted by the continuing struggle between popes and emperors, between church and state, again, a thoroughly unique Western experience. In these states, the modern world began to take form. Although the people were mainly Christians, their life and outlook became increasingly secular. Here, and not only in Italy but in other cities north of the Alps, arose a worldview that celebrated the greatness and dignity of mankind, which was a very sharp turning away from the medieval Western tradition that put God and life in the hereafter at the center of everything. This week we're going to be continuing our discussion of women in society. Last week we looked at a number of issues relating to women in education. If you remember, we discussed women both at school and at university. Today we're going to be considering the roles that women play in the workplace. Again, we'll start by taking a historical perspective, and inevitably you'll find that many of the same events that impacted on women in education also had a major influence on their working lives. In the second half of the lecture, I'll concentrate on the situation in Europe today, and I'll invite you to suggest how you think things are likely to develop over the next decade. Okay, so let's get started. Migrant children who do attend schools in cities usually get a worse education than their city-born counterparts. State schools that accept migrant pupils often operate what Pei Chia Lin of National Taiwan University refers to as apartheid school models. In these, migrant children are taught separately from urban ones in the same school and are even kept apart from them in the playground. For the first time, Japanese researchers have conducted a real-life experiment that shows how some traffic jams appear for no apparent reason. 
They placed the 22 vehicles on a single track and asked the drivers to cruise around at a constant speed of 30 km an hour. At first, traffic moves smoothly, but soon, the distance between cars started to vary, and vehicles clumped together at one point on the track, but the jam spread backwards around the track, like a shockwave at a rate of about 20 km an hour. Real-life jams move backward at about the same speed. Milk production, lactation, is a major component of reproduction in mammals. In contrast to all other animals, mammals including primitive mammals, such as the duckbill platypus and the spiny anteater nourish their offspring with a liquid that is secreted by specialized glands. Milk production and secretion are complex, multi-stage processes that are controlled by several hormones, the most important of which are prolactin and oxytocin. Some years ago, Bjorn Lomberg, a young Danish statistician, published a book called The Skeptical Environmentalist. It became a bestseller and generated a lot of heat. Lomborg was attacked, abused and accused of all manner of things, not because he denied the fact of global warming, in fact, he affirmed it, but because, on his analysis, the devil and, he says, a lot of deviousness was contained in the details presented concerning the size of the problem and what were the most responsible steps to take in the face of global warming. Health education intervention programs are currently available to improve cognitive understanding of the importance of adopting certain dietary and physical activity behaviors and lifestyle choices. The aims of such programs are to improve health. The Coronary Health Improvement Project is a health education intervention that teaches people the importance of making better choices in nutrition physical activity, and tobacco in order to prevent, arrest, 
and even reverse coronary heart disease. For many developed countries, the 1980s was a time when the switch from traditional heavy industries and manufacturing to services and information-based enterprise was completed. This led to widespread changes in employment patterns in these countries, as well as having profound social effects. In fact, it isn't going too far to say that there was a basic transformation in the whole culture, which can still be observed today. It isn't necessary to have specialized knowledge of, say, the intricacies of counterpoint, or even to be able to read music to understand it. Usually, getting the point of a piece of music, its emotional and dramatic impact is immediate or simply requires you to become more familiar with it. Of course, prolonged study of music and its composition, as in any other field, will increase your understanding, but not necessarily your enjoyment. Now, I realize that it can require a good deal of willingness on our part to risk new sensations, and there is a lot of music that will seem unfamiliar and alien to you on a first hearing. The pre-cyclone exercise for ensuing cyclone season was conducted at Chennai during 20-24 April 2016. All stakeholders including National Disaster Management Authority, non-government organizations NGOs Indian Air Force, Navy, National Disaster Response Force, National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting and experts from IMD, Indian Meteorological Department, were participated in the exercise.